When I was um, in graduate school, I was working on my PhD in immunology at the University of Chicago, um, I was also running a trading desk on the floor of the Board of Trade. And so it's two very divergent careers. One, I spent a lot of time yelling and screaming, as, as you do on a trading floor, or used to do on a trading floor, and, then, and I would think very thoughtfully during the day about my, uh, my experiments. So I was looking for a career that I can combine the excitement and the risk-taking of trading with the intellectual satisfaction I got from doing um, research. And so one day, <clears throat> so first of all, I read this book, um, which was called um, The Billion Dollar Molecule, and it's the founding of a company called Vertex. And, and I was fascinated with the idea that you could take science and make it a business, and I was trying to figure out how could I get a career to do that. And I'd read about venture capitalists in the book, and I thought, wow, that sounds really interesting. They get to work with all this great science and technology and help commercialize that technology and such that it's products that are helping save people's lives. I thought, that's really interesting. And then I used to walk through the business school thinking that maybe I'd see job postings that would be inspiring. And um, I walked through, was walking through the business school one day, and there was a posting for a fellowship to be a venture capitalist. And I was like, oh, I've read about them in this book. That sounded like a really interesting opportunity. And um, so then went to the, the, uh, the, the seminar about it and then applied for uh, to be a Kaufman Fellow. And I, this was class two in the Kaufman Fellowships. Now I think it's in the 22nd year. And uh, was actually matched with a private equity firm in New York called Chase Capital Partners, and there I helped them build a uh, venture practice. So that's how I got into venture capital. And what's been really rewarding about working in GE and starting companies in GE is that there are all these business opportunities or problems that need to be solved that I would have never seen in a financial firm. And so these problems that need to be solved are great opportunities to start new businesses. And one of the biggest challenges when you're creating a business is to have an opportunity that you think can be a big business. And there are a lot of those if you're sitting inside GE. No, oh, my favorite part is when there's a business opportunity or a problem that needs to be solved and kind of teasing apart what is the product or service that we can offer to solve that problem and then how can we make how can we create that as a business that makes money? Because a lot of times you can solve problems but and, but it's not necessarily a business opportunity. So that's the fun part is teasing apart what is a business opportunity, how big is the market, how, we, can we take, how, much, how can we take advantage of that opportunity. So that's the fun thing for me, the early stages. So it's interesting, we have three different models. We have a model, we, well we've come up with three different models. We, we usually find opportunities based on what, when we see a need within GE. And that can be an opportunity to create a business because we then validate that it's not just a GE need, that there are other companies that have that need as well. But since we're deep in the company, we really get to interact with the people on the day to day. And then we can work with um, the potential customers in building the product. Another way um, that we interact is that we interact with GE customers. So for example, the CEO of one of our businesses may come to us and say, hey, our customers have this interesting challenge. They've asked us to think about it. Do you guys want to think about it and see if there's a business opportunity there? So sometimes we get them directly from GE customers. Then we have the opportunity to interact with those customers, really refine what is your business problem and how can we help you? And I can give an example of that later. And then finally, um, in some cases, we take technology out of GE and we spin it into a new company. Our team has really great relationships with with many of the businesses. I'd, uh, we work, we're working with transportation, oil and gas, power and water, healthcare. Um, we think we work with almost all of them now at some level um, in terms of they bring us ideas as potential customers or they're working with us um, as and developing the different businesses. So works. I think more recently. We've identified, um, we've been um, working with some teams coming out of incubators because sometimes you find really early stage teams that have a great idea and if we match them with some of the interesting opportunities we see inside GE, that's a really good way to, to put the two together. We, one of the companies we started is a company called Vinetti. Vinetti develops software for um, the cell therapy and gene therapy industries. And so one of the really interesting, so we had an interaction with the CEO of our life sciences business a couple of years ago, and some of his customers came to him who are, were buying equipment and reagents for to develop cell therapy products and gene therapy products. And they said, we see a lot of challenge in how this industry scales. 
And we said, what, and he said, what do you mean? And we and kind of pulled, pulled out and teased out some of the challenges over a period of six months. We spent a lot of time with CEOs and CTOs of the, of the gene therapy and cell therapy businesses that were developing um, these new therapies. And, and one of the things that we saw was the challenge of when you take patients out of, cells out of a patient's body, and then they logistically have to get somewhere, then they have to be treated over time, and then they have to go back and then the patient. And they, through that process, a lot of data is collected and the cells are monitored. There was no software platform to manage that, and that's a very important part of the process. And so um, we started a company called Vanetti, which is a cloud-based platform that links the whole process of the logistics, the manufacturing, and the scaling of the development of these therapies. And um, we got our first customer, um, Kite Pharma, which is now part of Gilead, um, in the very early days because we'd interacted with them in terms of when we were working through the product idea. We have several other um, large biotechs and, and, and pharma companies that are now customers of the platform as well. But it was really through the interaction with the, the um, biotech and the pharma companies that were already GE customers that we were able really to tease out the problem and really develop a product that we thought the industry would want. Yeah, that's a, another, well, another good example of a business that we've started is a company called um, uh, Avatar Systems. And that, com that company is based on um, technology that we have with inside GE around the um, ability to uh, take and analyze uh, data uh, from images. And so in that particular case, GE has one, there is a lot of equipment that is, um, for example, in the whole area of uh, oil and gas, there's things called flare stacks. And, stuff, and these are all inspected by people, which is very dangerous. And people are walking around these towers and inspecting, and inspecting this equipment. And so we developed a business called Avatar Systems. And it uses drones to inspect the equipment and then some proprietary um, analytics and algorithms that we've developed at GE. So this is a much safer way to inspect the equipment. And then you also have a record so that if you inspected it six months ago that you can come back and look at six months later and you can see, hmm, were there those areas that you were afraid of would, would be corrosion, have corrosion? So that's the type of another example that we have started a new business. And I think one of the really great advantages of being in the corporate world is that you see real world problems real quickly. And, and the other aspect of that is because we're working with industrial businesses, we're often in segments that a lot of venture capitalists currently are today. There's been a great focus, as you know, in the tech world and venture capital and the consumer area and the, and the business enterprise area, but less so in the industrial space. So I think there's a real opportunity for GE Ventures to, and, and my team to really capitalize on opportunities that we see in spaces that perhaps a lot of venture capitalists don't focus on.